Hey friends, Joshua 14 back with another product review, and this is going to be the Renasser Pelican K8 Surface Keyboard. And it's Bluetooth, which is great. I'm going to go over all the features, compare it to the Surface Type Cover, and usability, and also the Raphael 530 stylus that I got bundled with it. So stay tuned, we'll get into it. All right, let's talk about the features of this Pelican K8 Surface Keyboard. Well, first things first, you get Bluetooth with a 35-day average battery life. It takes about 3.5 hours to charge, and you can still use it while it's charging. Uh, this combo with the 530 stylus came with a USB-C to USB-C uh, shorter cable and a longer uh, USB-C to uh, USB-A cable. It also came with three uh, stylus pen tips, which is very useful. So uh, the USB-C charging port uh, is actually over here on the left side, uh, which is hidden out of the way when you um, put it behind there, which is nice. And uh, has backlit keys, which you can adjust with the function row right here, function one. And uh, intelligent wake to save battery. So basically when you're not using it, um, it will go into sleep mode. That uh, Raphael stylus storage will accommodate uh, the 520, 520C, or BT, and 530, but it will not fit any of the um, Microsoft Slim pens. So it is a circular uh, stylus um, design there. And uh, as far as the typing experience, very solid, just like a Surface type cover. Has all the same function keys right here. You've got your volume up and down, mute, uh, like I said, that uh, backlit um, button. You have your display up and down, print screen home, and all that jazz. It also has Windows key, a um, right click, and like I said, that function key so that you can uh, use all those extra row uh, F keys. All right, let's compare this to the uh, regular Surface type cover. This one is for uh, originally for the Pro X, but it still works with the Pro 8 and Pro 9. And uh, if you'll notice, uh, comparing the size of the touchpad, the Surface one is just a little bit bigger. Um, but as far as the um, layout of all the keys and everything like that, it is pretty much exactly the same uh, with just a little bit different uh, um, font, uh, which is actually a little bit bolder, which I like because it's easier to uh, find the keys. And obviously you have a Bluetooth uh, pairing button, um, which will show up in your Bluetooth as uh, the Renaissance K8. All right, let's talk about a few things that you need to know when you are using this Pelican K8 Surface Keyboard. First things first is the touchpad the springs in it are a little bit stronger than the regular surface type covers so you're going to need to get used to uh, how strong it is but you can also instead of actually pressing it is uh, use the touch settings touch to press as well so that's just one thing you need to know uh, the second thing is that the magnet magnets that are on the bottom right here of this strip are not as strong as the surface type cover so um, if you were wanting to put this underneath uh, it's not going to stay so but the magnets that are on the side here of the uh, stylus storage are strong enough to keep it there while you're typing which is not an issue um, as well on the back here you will see uh, it does have a raised um, section here for the stylus storage uh, which you'll have to account for when you buy a um, case for it. So if you have like a sleeve that is really, really snug, it may be a little bit harder to pull um, out of your bag or sleeve. Um, but uh, you'll have to determine whether that's a deal breaker for you. It's not for me. Uh, it's been no problem uh, just navigating that. And lastly, there is no sensor in the top here uh, because it's Bluetooth 
to tell the surface to turn off the screen when you want to close it. So basically you're going to need to get in the habit of pressing the power button um, and then closing the type cover and then when you want to open it it will recognize that you uh, opened it. But uh, that's just one of the other things you'll need to consider. All right, just gonna do a quick demo with the Raphael 530 stylus that came bundled with this uh, Pelican K8. And uh, been great for note taking and it is great for art as well. You can see Tablet Pro uh, on YouTube for his full review. I'll have a link in the description. Uh, comes with a USB-C port right here on the side for charging. Uh, the top is used as an eraser, which is great. Comes with those replaceable tips if you do get the combo. And uh, as far as cons, not having any at all, this is a great stylus. And all you need to do to turn it on is just hold down the button until the white light comes on. And you can just start writing right there. All right, let's talk about price. So this is where the Renasser uh, Pelican K8 keyboard really, really shines. So for $75, you can get the keyboard without a stylus, or for around $110, you can get this combo with everything that I've shown you, with, which comes with the cables, the extra uh, replacement tips, and this Raphael 530 stylus. So if you were to buy both uh, the Slim Pen 2 and the Surface Signature type cover, it would cost you around 230 versus 110. So you're saving around $120. Now if you were to buy them separately, um, the Surface Signature keyboard is, right now it's on sale for 130 so versus 75 so you're saving, you know, basically fifty dollars fifty five dollars but normally they're 179 and then the stylus the slim pen is either 95 or 130 uh, depending if, if it's on sale and the Raphael 530 only costs 39.99 so you're saving anywhere from uh, 60 70 80 dollars on the stylus as well so it's a great value proposition has some extra features with Bluetooth uh, thrown in, um, and I think it's a great deal. All right, final thoughts on this Renasser Pelican K8 Surface Keyboard. So basically, uh, I've really enjoyed my time with it. I'm going to continue to use this for uh, either my Surface Pro 8 or Pro 9. It also does work with the Pro X as well. And uh, or the Surface Pro 5G as uh, the Pro X has now become. And uh, it's great for if you want to save some money, it's great if you want to use it as a Bluetooth keyboard where you don't have to, uh, maybe you want to put your Surface Pro on the side of your main uh, large monitor and still use the type cover uh, as your keyboard uh, on your lap or on your table, that will work just fine. Um, as well, if, if you're a fan of the Raphael um, styluses, you can still use your 520 or the 530 here, uh, which do a great job at note-taking and uh, are great at art as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, product review, and if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments, and I'll put the links uh, on how to pick these up in the description as well as that Tablet Pro uh, art review on the Raphael uh, stylus. So hopefully you all enjoyed, and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.